हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज आवर थर्ड लेक्चर ऑफ चैप्टर फोर्स एंड न्यूटन लॉज ऑफ मोशन एंड द टॉपिक्स आई एम गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस सेशन आर एस फॉलो न्यूटन सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ मोशन एप्लीकेशन इट हैज बीन ऑब्जर्व दैट अ क्रिकेट प्लेयर लोअर्स इज हैंड वाइल कैचिंग अ फास्ट मूविंग बॉल If a player keeps his hand stationary while catching a ball, then the force with which momentum is transferred might hurt player's hand. But if player lowers his hand back, then time of contact with the ball increases and net momentum is decreased, and player comfortably grabs the ball. from newton's second law of motion relation we know that force is given by change in momentum per unit time from this relation we find that if we increase the time of contact then the force transferred to the player's hand will be reduced since momentum takes more time to drop from larger value to zero we have another application of newton's second law of motion why seat belts are provided in car when a car is moving with a high velocity its momentum is also high and the passengers in the vehicle are also having the same momentum if the momentum is brought to zero at a very short time then force acting on a body is very large and it causes a major injury when a car meets with an accident the person falling front with the presence of stretchable seat belts as these elastic seat belt reduces the momentum in more time thus reducing the force by doing so the time of contact of a person with seat belt increases and net momentum is decreased thus reducing the impact force the two given animations of high jump and long jump also let's states newton's second law of motion application let's try another ncert numerical based on newton's second law of motion the velocity time graph of a ball of mass 20 g moving along a straight line on a long table as shown in figure how much force does the table exert on the ball to bring it to rest from the velocity time graph we can see the initial velocity of the ball is given 20 cm per second if we convert this into meter then you have to divide it by 100 then it comes out to be 0.2 meter per second we suppose to convert this into si unit the si unit of speed is meter per second and from the graph we can observe that ball finally stops so the final velocity of the ball is let 0 meter per second and it takes 10 seconds to stop so we can see ball takes 10 second to stop time is given 10 second and the mass of the ball is also given that is 20 g again we need to convert this into si unit the si unit of mass is kilogram so we need to divide it by 1000 so the mass of the ball is 0.02 kg now for calculating force we can apply newton's second law of motion relation according to newton's second law of motion relation f equals to change in momentum per unit time that can be written as mv that is final momentum minus mu that is initial momentum divided by time if i take m common will get v minus u by t mass is given 0.02 kg final velocity is 0 initial velocity is 0.2 and the time is given 10 second so on solving the force comes out to be 0.02 into minus 0.2 by 10 the force comes out to be minus 0.000, 000.
so this is our final answer force comes out to be minus 0.004 newton here negative sign denotes that the force is retarding why retarding because there is decrease in the speed of the ball so it's a retarding force and retarding force always comes in negative sign we can calculate force in this question by alternate method also from newton's second law of motion we know force is given by ma and from the graph we can calculate acceleration and we know in velocity time graph acceleration is given by slope of line and the formula for slope of line is given by perpendicular divided by base we already studied this in chapter motion if we mark points a o and b so in this right angle triangle perpendicular is oa this is perpendicular and ob is base so the acceleration comes out to be oa divided by ob here oa is given 20 cm per second if we convert this into meter we'll get 0.2 meter per second and ob is 10 second time is already given in si units so on substituting oa in place of oa we can write 0.2 and place of ob we can write 10 so the acceleration in this case comes out to be 0.02 meter per second square so we can calculate acceleration using graph now for calculating force we can use newton second law relation f equals to ma here mass is given 20 g which can be converted into si units if we divide gram by kg the mass value comes out to be 0.02 kg in si units now substitute mass is 0.02 kg and acceleration is minus 0.02 meter per second square we have taken uh, here negative sign of acceleration because this is the retardation here we can see there is a decrease in the speed of the ball that's why we have taken the sign of acceleration negative so the final answer comes out to be minus 0.004 newton so this is the alternate method for calculating the force next we have newton's third law of motion according to newton's third law of motion for every action there is an equivalent opposite reaction for example in swimming when swimmer pushes water backward with her hands and feet that is action then water pushes the swimmer forward that is reaction also while we walk we pushes earth backward by applying some force on it and in turn earth pushes us forward so we can say for every action there is always equal and opposite reaction we have some more examples illustrating newton's third law of motion when rocket launches from the earth surface then the hot gases that pushes out from the rocket applies force on the earth that is action and in turn rocket receives an upward force that is reaction which helps it to escape from the earth gravitational force why does a person while firing a bullet holds the gun tightly to his shoulders when we fire a bullet from a gun then the bullet moves forward with large force that is action and in turn it pushes the gun backward with the same force that is reaction also called recoil if we do not hold the gun firmly then it cause major injury to our shoulders
I am assigning you this worksheet, which is based on today's lecture. Thank you.